I am announcing today that the United States will withdraw from the Iran nuclear deal. So what happens now? One, the reimposition of sanctions. I will sign a presidential memorandum to begin reinstating U.S. nuclear sanctions. The U.S. president is promising to snap back the crippling sanctions that brought Iran to the negotiating table in the first place and add new ones. This disastrous deal gave this regime many billions of dollars. That includes punishing those who do business with Iran by blocking access to the U.S. marketplace. And in this day of global finance, who isn't connected to the U.S. marketplace? Any nation that helps Iran in its quest for nuclear weapons could also be strongly sanctioned. That could be bad news for European companies, and it's a rejection of European leaders who lobbied Trump hard in recent weeks to stop this decision. Two, the deal's survival. The nuclear deal with Iran is the culmination of 12 years of diplomacy. The European Union is determined to preserve it. With the U.S. out, European leaders are scrambling to keep Iran in, because so far the deal has prevented Iran from making a nuclear weapon. I have ordered the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran to be ready for action if needed, so that if necessary, we can resume our enrichment on an industrial level without any limitations. Three, the potential for conflict. Trump says the deal is too weak to keep Iran from becoming a nuclear threat over the long run. And we will not allow a regime the chance death to America to gain access to the most deadly weapons on Earth. He wants to use sanctions to force Iran to renegotiate the accord on U.S. terms. But if that doesn't work, and many think it won't, what then? There's no plan B for dealing with Iran's nuclear program, increasing the risk of confrontation. Four, the bigger picture. Secretary Pompeo is on his way to North Korea in preparation for my upcoming meeting. Withdrawing from the Iran Accord wasn't the only big news. We have our meeting scheduled, we have our meeting set, and we look forward to have a very great success. But great success depends on credibility, namely whether Kim Jong-un can trust Trump to keep his word on a nuclear deal with North Korea when the U.S. president has reneged on this one.